Hey guys, if you have the Ford Territory with ABS light on, uh, first of all, check the fault code in the scan tool to see what is the uh, fault about. So, Ford Australia. This one is the Ford Territory 2009. ABS system, just right there. Let's see what is the fault code. Okay, reading the fault code up here. Okay, so I have C1279 for, for your red sensor circuit failure. So I need to look up this fault code first. I will show you guys how to find the fault code in the uh, workshop manual. Then we locate the sensor and we see how we can diagnose the sensor itself. This is the Ford Workshop Manual. I look up for C1279 right there. Let's find the best match. This is the Yaris sensor. I'll go for the main page for the diagnosis. All so, right. So what we have here is the first one is uh, uh, remove the sensor connector. You need to locate the sensor, check the connector itself and uh, check for the F connection at pin number one. So pin number one must be the ground. And what you see here, uh, C963, this is the uh, connector code for the Yaris sensor. And if the problem is still there, if you have a good ground, you need to go to the next step, which is checking the battery voltage on the sensor. So check 12 voltage battery supply to pin number four. So pin number one is the ground, pin number four, is the, the battery voltage. So if the ground is okay, if battery voltage is okay, next step is to replace the sensor. So C963 for this uh, Ford Territory 2009 is the connector code. So I search for C-963, okay, and I look up the connector. So 963 here, your sensor. So this is the location, 963. There you go. This is a C963, which is pointing to this side of the dash. Okay guys, I'm on the left side. This is the AC panel and this is a passenger airbag. Your sensor is just located right in the back. So you can reach from the underneath or from uh, actually, by removing the passenger bag, you can reach to the sensor. Okay, so this is the passenger bag, and right on the right side, this is the Yaris sensor. Okay, do you see it? Okay, guys, we already located the Yaris sensor right here on the left side of the AC panel. Okay, so if you see the You see the connector? I have a connector with four, four pins, four wires. So what I'm after in the wind diagram, as you see, this is the Yaris sensor. This is a wind diagram for Ford Territory 2009. So here is the Yaris sensor. So I have this uh, 57 EB with the black wire connected to the ground. So if I want to check the ground wire I need to find this one and check it out and the other one 16 MC with red green wire is supposed to have the battery positive battery voltage because it's connected to this 10 amp ABS fuse which is inside the interior fuse box uh, so I'm gonna check this one when ignition is on I should have the battery voltage and the other one the ground and the other two wires on the right URS sensor, they are connected to the ABS module. So they are communicating with the ABS module. So I can check those two wires as well. But let's start between these two. Workshop manual is just ask, asking me to check this ground, to check this uh, battery positive. And if these two are okay, workshop manual asks me to check the, to change the URS sensor with the brand new one. But obviously you can check these two wires 
as well between the sensor and between the uh, ABS module. So out of these two wires, the black one, 5E7, 5E7B, I already found the uh, connector for you as well. This is the URI sensor connector. This is a connector code C-963. So in the URI sensor connector, I have four pins. So this one, 57EB with the black one, this is the, actually the ground. And the other one, 16MC with red green wire, this is the positive. So I need to check this one and the other one. Let's start with the positive. Uh, so red green. If I check this one right there. This is the red green one. You see this one? This is red green. This one is the red green. So I need to check the battery positive on it. And the other one is the black. This black wire. This black wire, the one I show you here, that one is the ground. So I need to check the ground as well. So what I do right here for the red green i use this one because this is the this is the back prop you can't just uh, back prop it from the actually from the back of the wire but because i just try to protect the wire sometimes when you do the back probing when you insert it from the back you're gonna damage the wire so because this one is thin i just insert it from the front side which is okay it's not gonna damage the pin so i find the red green wire here I insert this one into there okay so this is the red green wire which is supposed to give me the battery voltage so I just set this one on the voltage and positive in here okay and I find a ground there's a bolt over there to give me the ground Okay, see, I'm getting the battery voltage. So it means that wire is okay. The battery positive supply line is okay. So I don't have any problem with it. Let's go for the ground. So for the other one, which is the black wire, I have the black wire here for the ground. Okay, so what I do, I first, I locate it. I put this one into the ground. So what should I do? I need to check the continuity between that ground and the body ground. If that one is connected to the ground, it means I do have the continuity. I, so I put this one on the resistance and then I change it to the continuity. You have the continuity sign there, okay? So it means I should hear this continuity sign. So I have the pin on here connected to the ground so I put my multimeter probe right here and with the other one I will touch the ground hear it so I should hear you should hear this continuity sound if you hear this one it means that the ground for the sensor is connected to the body ground as well and you don't have any problem with it uh, workshop man is asking me if that power supply is okay and if the ground is okay, like exactly what I showed you here, you have to replace, remove and replace the URA sensor. But obviously you can check the other two wires as well between uh, the URA sensor and the ABS module. There might be some problem over there, but most of the time uh, the problem is from the uh, URA sensor.